смотри, 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 идет сюда. Офигеть, сейчас. This is Dabu 7, and what you guys are looking at is a massive mushroom cloud that came from the strike that took place overnight from Ukraine in Russian territory using drones. It triggered the massive explosion and the after explosions that you've seen in those clips. This is a good bit into Russia, and you can guarantee that Russia is going to see that this is a NATO strike or a Western back strike. After all this, this is a very important site. This is a Russian weapon stockpile. And some are saying, is, is there some nuclear in there? Or, because the mushroom cloud that was emanating from this that you can see here on the left, this is eerily similar to what we've been waiting for in this region. Because the Chinese, when they put the rover in space, in the background on their image, there was a mushroom cloud on Earth, and it made no sense. And when you looked into exactly where this came from, it's in this region, somewhere between Moscow, Ukraine, roughly, right in that area where the, where the war is going down. This mushroom cloud emanates from off this image for no reason. I have multiple videos on my channel. If you type in mushroom cloud, Ukraine, uh, covering this, one's well, got like over a half million views. So we've had our eyes on this for about a decade, and now we have a mushroom cloud popping up in this exact area. What this tells me, though, is that they're going to strike back, and they're going to strike back hard. America's about to get caught slipping and sleeping if they don't pay attention. These are huge moves. One of the biggest weapons facilities that they have, this was what they call an earthquake-sized blast. You could see the after fires. It looked like a hellscape in this region. There's no telling just exactly how many people were in this, this area. But the, the depot housed Iskander and the Tchotchka U missiles, as well as glide bombs and artillery shells. Could have had something else in there. This was a main targeted spot. If you ask me, Russia should have never let information out about this. Apparently, over the years, they were releasing information about how much they spent to build this facility. Um, it went into it went into full blown use in 2018, and it's been housing all these weapons. So to let your enemy know where this is at is kind of dumb, but it's been hit. It's been rocked. Absolutely massive. We haven't seen an explosion like this in terms of this war front yet. I mean, outside of using tactical nukes and things like that, you're not going to see an explosion like this of this magnitude. But this is huge. This could really be a defining moment of where this whole thing goes. Here on this whole world stage, World War III going into motion, the whole nine. This is absolutely huge. And Russia is definitely going to respond somehow, some way to this. So... A heads up if you don't know, again, apparently Ukraine struck a good bit into Russia and hit this depot, and it's massive, and it's eerily similar to the warning we've had for a decade about this, or a mushroom cloud in the region. So join me on my live streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, where I'm talking about this and a whole lot more in greater detail, and hit that subscribe button for more. It's about that time, y'all.